As you know, for the past two weeks, thousands of acres have burned in the Eastland Complex fire. That is in Eastland County to the west of Fort Worth. That fire tonight, happy to report 90% contained now. But conditions remain ripe for more fires this week for the next at least 48 hours here. Our Nick Starling, he headed to Parker County earlier, where it was another busy day for firefighters. Heat mixed with wind and dry conditions is a recipe which concerns fire officials on a day like this. Very dangerous. Flames near Peaster caught a house on fire. We're told it's a total loss. We spoke with the homeowner's brother. Hey, he's pretty sad right now. You don't want to talk to nobody, really. You know, it's just mind boggling. You know, when you don't have insurance in your house, Mark, it's, it's, it get to you. Fire crews here quickly identify the cause. Come to find out it's from an illegal burn out of a burn barrel. We are currently in a burn ban for up to 60 days, potentially longer. I think the guy that started that fire should have to pay for it. Out in Palo Pinto County, just before 5 p.m., several acres on this wooded hill burned off the interstate. We're told no structures are in danger. Fire officials here still determining what sparked this one. When there's a red flag warning and a burn ban, it's illegal to burn anything outside. If you do start a fire causing damage to someone else's property, you could be charged with arson under state law. If we are in a burn ban, don't burn. And I know people want to go out and they're accustomed to burning here all the time. And every time it happens, the unexpected happens. So the little, little ember takes off and we have a, a disaster. Leaving many people without homes to no fault of their own. I mean, they got fires everywhere, you know? Look at Eastland, look at that L fire down there, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it's something else. In Parker County, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. It's